This chilling story is set in Jayala in the late 1970s. 20-year-old Christo was returning home from work one rainy Thursday evening. So Christo was exiting the railway station. He rushed out holding an umbrella over his head trying to power through the storm. Christo lived quite close by to the train station. He would walk home every day. Every day on his way home he would run into his neighbor Sanataya. Every evening Christo and Sanataya would stop for a smoke and a chat on the top of their lane. As Christo walked steadily, powering through the heavy rain, he spotted Sanataya waving at him. Christo ran towards the tree that Sanataya stood beneath and held out his umbrella to shelter him from the rain. As the two neared home, the rain ceased. And they stopped at the top of their lane for a smoke and a chat as they usually did. Christo and Sanataya talked about their day and they both discussed the upcoming volleyball game that they were both participating in that weekend. As they parted ways, Sanataya wished Christo good luck for his match. Christo looked back at him surprisingly and asked him, aren't you playing with us? Are you not coming? I'll be there, Sanataya said, before opening his gate and heading into his home. As Christo reached home, his mom opened the front door with tears in her eyes. What's wrong, Christo asked. Sanat had a heart attack at office this afternoon, she said. Sanat passed away at 3 p.m. that day. Christo laughed and told his mother that she may be mistaken, and that they just had a smoke together outside. Christo's mom shrugged in confusion. So Christo rushed to Sanataya's house and even as he saw the grief in the eyes of Sanat's family, he thought they were mistaken. He heard Sanat's mother howl in grief and as he comforted her, he refused to believe that Sanataya was gone. Christo rushed to the top of the lane where he and Sanataya had their last smoke. And as he spotted cigarette buds lying on the ground, Christo stared in disbelief as he realized that his friend and neighbor had really visited him to bid farewell and say good luck. The real names of everyone involved have been changed in this story. But let's just say I heard this story from Christo himself. Do you have any ghost stories you would like to share? Let me know in the comments.